Hey guys, welcome to Press the Attack on the Hua channel. I'm your host, Eric Bruss. Uh, we're at the 2015 Skeeter Owners Tournament. Joining me is a uh, legendary angler at a young age, but Brandon <laughs> Polinick, uh, one of the Skeeter Yamaha pros. Yep. Um, what do you think is going to take to win this? What do you think on an under? Uh, man, on an under, I'm going to guess somewhere in the two and three quarter, three pound range is usually what it's going to be. I mean, there's some big, fat, healthy, you know, just under 16 inches. Right. Um, if it was me, I'd be trying to find a school of those and then maybe go hunt for a big over to try to win that brand new boat. So what do you think the big one's going to be? You think we're uh, looking at another 12 pound year? Or? I don't know if we'll go 12. I'm going to guess we're going to be in that 10 and a half pound range. Yeah, I, I've seen seven and a half pounders that were overs here. Right. And I've seen nine to 10 pounders that weren't over. Right. You know, so it's just all how that fish is built. Um, and it, I mean, you put that many guys on the body of water with this many big fish in it, somebody's going to catch a big one. It's amazing, man. Skeeter owners tournament's always a blast. Number one, you see more Skeeters and Yamahas. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're just everywhere. Tell me about your boat. Uh, I run the 2015 model FX20. Uh, it's the same boat. I've ran the FX20 since they came out with it. Introduced it with that 250 show motor. And I mean, the reason I keep driving and keep buying that boat is that I love it so much. I've put it into so many different situations, whether it's, you know, shallow marshes, you know, running over logs and things like that. It slides off of stumps so well, or taking it out into some of the Great Lakes when you're in seven, eight, nine foot waves. And it Trying performs- Trying to catch those smallies. <laughs> exactly, it performs so well in so many different conditions that, um, you know, it's, I can't get away from that motor or that boat. Well, these Skeeters, they're designed around that, that Yamaha show, and there's no finer motor on the market, I'm telling you. Yeah, a big thing is, like, especially I noticed in the big water, is that hole shot. Right? Right. Is, so the, the low-end power and the mid-range power of the SHO is the ability to be able to climb those waves when you get in really big water. Uh, that's irreplaceable, because you're in a situation where if your motor fails, you're in a life-or-death situation. Right. So to be able to have that kind of that reliability and have that ability to climb up and over waves when you need to is priceless for me. You know, if you can't, when you're dealing in tournaments, um, elite series and even these amateur series stuff, if you can't get to your fish faster than the next, next guy, that could be a problem, Yeah. you know? Problem is that most of the guys out here running the same motor in the same right. boat and you got 900 or 1,000 guys with the same boat and motor, it right. makes it a little tough. So it's it comes down to finding your spot. It's right. Getting on it. Yep. And, uh, you know, I mean, in, in the elites, it's important. But even these, the guys that are fishing the weekend series stuff and everything, having a motor that you don't have to take to the shop all the time. Right. It's a beautiful thing. Because right. I know me, personally, I don't want to go to a, a marina and have to fork out a bunch of money to get my motor fixed all the time. So one that I can rely on and I know is going to run for a long time, that's what I'm going to buy. So what do we expect out of you in 2015 here? Uh, 2015, well, we're about half the remainder our season. Of it, yeah. Um, don't really know where I'm at in AOI points. I've got this new theory where I'm not looking at AOI points. I'm just going to fish. for the win. And, yep, yeah, I'm going to fish to win. And then at the end of the year, I'll look, see where I'm at the points, and see if I make the classic. So at this point, uh, we're going north country. We're going to smallmouth territory, right, which is right. right up my alley. I love smallmouth fishing. So As long as you stay on the Wisconsin side. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to the Mississippi we're, River We're not going to the Mississippi so River this time. We're not talking about those antiquated culling laws yeah. in Minnesota. Don't worry about that. None but, of that. Uh, well, we wish you the best, man. Thank and you. And love having you on. And, Appreciate and, it. And, uh, you know, if you're not running a Skeeter, you're probably looking at the back end of one, is all I can say. <laughs> if you don't have a, if you don't have a Yamaha, you're probably looking at the back end of one. So, hey, until next time, um, and hopefully you'll do well this year and we'll be able to talk again. Uh, as always, on the Hua channel, press the attack.